finally uh, working on this 046. Uh, I already cleaned up the exhaust because it was really, really, really nasty. Uh, did a little bit of intake work. Did a little bit of transfer work. I didn't go and erase the transfers at all. All I did was get rid of the flashing and the bad marks out of it. But all in all, this uh, cylinder is really, really clean. I mean, it's really clean. <laughs> it's surprising how clean it is. Um, I'm still waiting on some parts to get here, like the AV mounts. Uh, I'm only missing one, but I don't have anything here that I could take one off of and put on there. So, just got to wait. Uh Going to throw the cylinder on, put the boot on. Um, I got the exhaust over there uh, drying in the paint. I did modify that. I do have uh, an extra port that I put on the side of it. I made me a screen already. That's the original one. Uh, if you guys know anything about those exhausts, they're, they're huge. Um, uh, one thing to note about those exhausts, um, the inside of the baffle... Like you got that big, um, the big baffle that comes up and normally it covers the whole thing, but it's like that far down on the exhaust. So really all I did was take the, uh, the step drill, whatever you call that strip, that bit right there, step bit, I cut into it with this and opened it all the way up. So it still has a little bit of baffle, not a whole bunch. Uh, and then I put another port in it because I figured it needed a little bit more breathing room. So I wanted to put it on. Uh, let me see if this now. Let me show you guys an exhaust. Uh, I do have one. Uh, well, let's see. Okay. Let's say that this is that exhaust well you got an, a port over here that's got the um the screen in it but you know there's not much room on this side to actually put another port so what i did was is i went down here on this front part and i drilled a hole well there was already a dimple like this already in it so all i did was drill it out and it's going to be perfect for those um press on uh prefab uh outlets that i got these are here um, I need to buy some more of these <laughs> the, uh, they're actually uh, not that bad on the price uh, you can get four of those for 20 bucks which is really nice I mean if I had the thing to make it I'd just do it myself I'd buy some metal and make it myself okay the 266 SE is on the back burner for now. I'm waiting on a part to get here. Yes, I need a flywheel. I don't have one that actually matches the one that came off of that saw. I got a 268 and a 272 uh, flywheel. I don't know if either one of those would actually work. I didn't try it. I might try that. But let's go ahead drop the cylinder on. I hope that I have my bolts laying here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see if what those are down there in the main bottom. I think those are. I to dump all this out just to get them. Oh, I found me some uh, OEM gas and uh, oil caps which are pretty cool uh, steel another steel this is cool um, my friend Brian gave me this uh, the sock that goes on the filter and the, the foam piece that goes inside of it this is an actual steel filter I'm gonna clean it though okay put all this back in here. Yeah, it's still on. I should have turned it off, but I did. Uh, that gone. 
I don't know where they are, so I guess I'm going to have to reach into the bag of tricks I got. Um, excuse me. Uh, a while back, I bought a uh, Neotech uh, T25. Uh, yeah, T25. And it came with three different sets of bolts. So my guess is it steps up. So let's see if this will fit the case. I do is take four out of here. I've got me a cylinder put on. That'd be fat. Let me turn that off. Okay. Uh, Like I said, I'm still waiting on a few parts for this. Um, not all of them are here. But uh, I am going to delete the base gasket. I did turn it. It turns really good. It goes all the way to the top of the cylinder. I do have a pop-up piston on this from highway. Um, so let's try to put this on there without pinching my fingers like I always do. Because I, I really do. I always pinch my fingers trying to do this. And uh, here <laughs> lately, I've been uh, putting these <laughs> on backwards. And I get so mad at myself when I do it. Make sure those are lined up. Trying to line up the rings. That way I don't pinch them. Trying to uh, push them in. I need to get me one of those uh, ring sets. I will say this double rings suck. When you're trying to do this, got to go on that side. Okay. There we go. Okay. You don't shove it all the way down on there, especially if you're going to delete the base gasket. You're going to use the gasket maker. In my case, this is. Uh, Moto seal gasket maker. I'm almost out of the gray stuff. I actually like the gray stuff uh, way better than the other colors. I don't know. I just do. Let's see? Got that RVT red gasket maker. Um, this is for high temp though. I don't think I'm going to. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this because I think I got another one over there somewhere. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put the um, coil on. Yeah, I could do that. Still waiting on. Oh, yeah, some oil pump 
um, parts. I'm waiting on those. Uh, the cover that goes over top of your chain brake. I'm waiting on that. Uh, like I said, I only got one AV missing, so it's just this side. Uh, the tank. Uh, I'm waiting on these parts too for the trigger. Um, this thing is uh, somebody worked the piss out of this thing. Um, what I like is it still has the original sticker right here and it does say 77 cc's right there <laughs> uh, the good thing i got brian because i would be totally lost without him uh, especially when it comes to steel parts because he has a lot of stuff uh got that off of him actually i got a whole tank but it, i think it's a 460 or a 461 tank uh it's broke up there on the top and it's broke right there on the mount does have a good flip cap uh does have a good gas tank uh that stuff can actually be repaired uh but that cannot it's gone completely uh you'd have to melt something in there and fix it like that uh does have the um uh the coil wires hanging out of it does have the uh carburetor bolts in it i took the back piece off of it just to steal the trigger parts basically and work pretty good uh man this thing's gonna be awesome i'm gonna clean it here shortly but I can't put that stuff on there yet. I do have these that I'm wanting to uh, take apart. I need to take that off of it and I want to paint these. Because uh, this is one of the saws that I always wanted to. I want to, um, I want to uh, 64. Uh, that would be an awesome saw. Um, what else? Um, just paint these so I can get them on there. I'm thinking about um, dyeing my plastic too because the plastic is in really, really good shape. It's shiny. It's not dull. Uh, it's not beat to death. That's one thing I really do like. Because I had a... Uh, spring behind it like that but i don't think that's what it's meant for this one does have the uh, the winter flap in it which is awesome uh i've not seen too many um of these that actually had that uh the flap down on the bottom is missing though but that's that's okay uh like i said i'm thinking about dying these um uh, black because uh, I like I like the saw that I did for the guy that I work with. I love the color scheme of that saw. For some reason, it is awesome. And uh, one thing I did do, I did get a three-quarter rat for this saw. But this is what I did. I stuck it on the 038. And we're not done with this saw yet. I've got some stuff that I want to do to it. Um, yes, it will fit on the tank, guys. This is a 380, well, 038, with a 044 three-quarter wrap. Look at the OEM plastic. You don't believe me, it says steel right in there. Well, it does. This is going to be a uh, nice little saw. Well, I'm done with it. This is a saw that I want to actually take it back to original. Like, all the way original. Bought some uh, 
660 dogs. These fit. They go right on the, the case and everything. Um, I just thought that these would look better on it instead of getting some real big gawky huge ones that you know a lot of people don't like them anyway. But I did get a set for that all. <laughs> Clean this up. Um, I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna put some new grip on it. Um, this actually fits on that tank. It's weird. I didn't think it would because of this bend right here, but it does. Fits right in there. Well. Well, it's going to be a full wrap, not a three-quarter wrap. It's going to be cool. That's that chain flopping around in there. Uh, well, I think I'll end the video here because I've got way too much time on this already. <laughs> So, to the next video, you guys have a wonderful day.